my dear friends welcome to my channel myself gaur bharat kumar working as assistant professor in the department of csc from the last few sessions we are discussed about discussing about the sql3 concepts so in this regard already we have covered some features extended data types row types user defined types okay the first three features are already we have covered now in today's session we will move to the other features of sql3 now we will start with the fourth type of feature that is user defined routines if you want any information regarding the remaining features please watch my previous videos now we will start the session with the, the fourth type of feature that is user defined routines actually the third feature in sql3 is user defined functions in that concept we already covered how to create the functions how to using the functions here the routine is a collection of program statements here it performs particular task it performs particular agenda based on the task here we will apply the routines in this point of view is user defined routine is a routine that you can define and that can be invoked within a structured query language statement or another user defined routine also here we have a facility the user defined routines are written within the sql or another user defined routine also mm, here another user defined routine means extended here we have a facility to write within the external routines either Uh, C programming language or Java programming language. Now we will see the uh, examples also. No problem. Here, the user defined routines can either return a value or not. Maybe that is completely depending on the function or processor. Here, the user defined function returns one or more values and therefore can be used in SQL expressions. A user defined processor. Here we have a facility. either to write the functions or processors here the function returns one or more values as well as here the processor is a routine that op optionally accepts a set of arguments but does not return any values here please observe the difference between user defined function and user defined processor okay so here the processor cannot be used in sql expressions because it does not return any value here the function returns something but at the same time the processor does not return any values here the database supports user defined routines in two formats one is stored processor language another one is external languages here the stored processor language is a language that is internal to the database server at the same time here the external languages such as with the help of either c programming or java here we have two different types of user defined routines are available one is stored processor language another one is external routines here the stored processor language routines can be executed routines written in external language either c or java programming language at the same time the external routines are implemented directly with the help of c or java that's why the external routines once again divided into two types routines in c or routines in java finally here we will it will produce the final result it will produce the the processors in c or functions in c processors in java or functions in java here um, suppose we will use the stored programming processor language also it will defines the same things stored processor language processors or stored processor language functions with the help of external language so finally we will conclude with here the user defined routines are available in six different types of formats stored processor language processors stored processor language functions processors in c processors in java functions in c functions in java these are the different types of user defined types 
in the next session we will discuss about uh, another features of uh, sql3 until now take care thank you very much for watching thank you